one of my favorite things, beautiful, easy, fluffy baking powder biscuits. So easy. Come along and let's go. So we're going to start with six cups all-purpose white flour in a bowl. Then we're going to put in three tablespoons of sugar. So three tablespoons of sugar and you're going to put that, add that to your bowl. You can do any type of sugar, white sugar, uh, organic cane sugar, whatever you want. So three tablespoons of sugar is going to go in your bowl with your flour. So we're going to add into the bowl nine teaspoons of baking powder. Now, if you're wondering what baking powder does, because these are a beautiful fluffy biscuit and that's exactly what your baking powder does. It puts air into your baking and provides a light, airy texture to the baking powder biscuits. So this is your key ingredient here. Nine teaspoons of baking powder is going to go in your bowl. Add three teaspoons of salt to the bowl. You're just going to give this a little mix just to mix up all the dry ingredients. So you're going to take one and a half cups of shortening that has been taken out of the fridge. Now it's very important that you want it cold because all these little pieces of shortening inside your biscuits, there's going to be little pieces of pure bliss when you, when you bite into it because the shortening melts in little pockets in the uh, biscuits and you get these beautiful creamy parts to the biscuit. So you're going to make sure that this comes out of the fridge and you're going to take these chunks of shortening and you're just going to break them up. I like to break them up with my hands. I've never had a lot of love for a pastry blender, but you know, or a pastry cutter, but everybody's different. So you have to do what's right for you. So all I'm doing is breaking up these bits of shortening until they are the size of small peas. So we'll do that now. Just add the milk. You're gonna get your fingers dirty, but that's okay. And we're just going to mix it with our hands, just until it's mixed. You don't wanna keep, you know, you don't wanna mix it to death. You just want to do this until it's mixed and that's it. I'm just going to keep going so I can show you the consistency. These are beautiful with like today, I have my cousins and my sister here and we had roast chicken the other, or sorry, roast turkey the other day. And we've got turkey left and we've got gravy left. So what we're going to do is put baking powder, half of a baking powder biscuit on a plate put the turkey on top of that and uh, pour gravy over it. Does that sound sinful? <laughs> so there, you just have it mixed. So I like to be liberal with the, with the flour. Don't be afraid to put lots of flour on your counter because you don't want your, your biscuits to stick. And I'm just gonna roll these onto the counter. So you're going to have a big lump of dough, but you want to kind of, okay, I'm gonna get some of this flour out of the way, and you just want to kind of make it so that it's stuck together. So I'm doing what's called kneading. I'm just pressing it until all that dough is stuck together. Now I'm gonna get rid of some of my flour because you can kind of feel when you have a little bit too much. And I'm going to knead it until, you know, until it's not crumbling. Until you have it nicely in a nice ball like this. 
So now I'm gonna put a little bit of more flour on there because I have the ball nice and firmly together. And we're going to roll it out to half an inch thick. So now I'm just going to, you know, put a little bit of this flour on top just so that it doesn't stick to the rolling pin. And I'll probably put a little bit on my rolling pin. Let me get you closer there. And I'm just going to roll it until it's approximately a half inch thick. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to measure it or anything. Just look at it and say, yeah, that's half inch thick. I've done thicker biscuits. I've done thinner biscuits. You just, you know, you just kind of leave the thicker ones in the oven longer and the thinner ones shorter. So you can kind of just go to approximately half inch thick. So once you have it to half an inch, you can purchase these little biscuit cut, um, cutters or cookie cutters, which are awesome. I love these. They've got a little handle. They're stainless steel. I don't know where you'd get them today, possibly online or at a kitchen shop, but I love them because they're stainless steel, little handle, and they're so easy to use. And then when you cut your biscuits, you've got this pretty little scallop going on in there. So it gives a, a nice little touch. So if you don't have one of these though, don't go out and buy anything. You can use a glass. So you can see I'm going to, cause you know, you don't want to spend money if you don't have to. So I've got my biscuit cutter and I'm cutting the biscuits, but I don't have to go out and buy one of these. I can just use a glass and do the same thing. Cut a biscuit. Look how nice that turns out. So, you know, you don't have to run out and buy stuff. So you're going to line a cookie sheet with parchment paper. And anybody that watches my videos knows that... <laughs> Get lost! <laughs> okay, just a side note. That was my sister. I told her I was doing a YouTube and she wanted to get her face in the camera, literally, so that was her. <laughs> so this is a cookie sheet that you can, that, okay, now I'm all flustered. Okay, reset, reset. <laughs> so on my cookie sheet, I put some parchment paper, but anybody that watches my YouTube knows, um, get the brown unbleached parchment paper because seriously people do you really want bleach going into your baking so when you buy white parchment paper that's what you're buying is bleached paper so i get the organic unbleached i got this at amazon but i'm sure you can go to a kitchen shop and get it as well or maybe even your grocery store has it so you're going to take these beautiful little biscuits that you cut and you're just going to line them on your cookie sheet and you don't have to worry about um, they don't spread a lot so you don't have to worry I have about an inch between each biscuit but it's it's not a problem so you're going to put it on your cookie sheet like that so you're going to bake these beautiful little biscuits in a 450 de degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes so just a side note too, sometimes if you want to kick this up a bit, you can put a little bit of garlic powder on there with a sprinkle of cheese or put melted butter on here or you can put uh, some olive oil with a little bit of your favorite herbs. So you can really make these a little bit snazzy, but today we're just going to do plain. That's it. So yes, one of my favorite things, beautiful baking powder biscuits melt in your mouth. You have a great day.